Hey, so today we are talking about statistics, JPT. So this one was designed specifically based on the optimization of the chat GPT, keeping its temperature, nuclear sampling and everything in a such a measure which facilitates by browsing and reading sufficient number of statistics publications as well as books and trained on them to serve the purpose of performing your statistical as well as data analysis. So what sort of data it could do the analysis? The first question will be the what data you have. The way it's been built is to tackle and deal specifically the data. Those require statistical calculations from all aspects of academics as well as other interest. If you have a data set, you can just click on this and upload it. Or you can just paste it in here and ask simply analyze it. And it will do it as an expert of this specific statistical analysis topic. Now the second concern is that do I need to be very specific or do I need to be very instructive to ask it for uh, uh, doing the statistical analysis on certain specific manner. For example, you upload a data set and do you need to tell, okay, what sort of test it will do? Will it do the t-test? Will it do the Wilcoxon test? Will it do the Manowitney test? Or what? What sort of test it will be doing? Or will it automatically select based on its training data set? What sort of a statistical analysis it wants to do? And give explanation, the reasoning behind the choosing the technique and how it is relevant to close to your statistical perfection. And it could be used for the publication, like it's experimental data or uh, simulation data or your business or any other purpose, any data that you want to do a statistical analysis. This is a, this is built on that. So let's let's go through a small demo. First, let's build a data set. So you go to the Excel. Let's write it down like this. This is control. This is treatment. Let's take one. Treatment. Okay, now this is our data set, for example. And we want specifically this data set to be analyzed. So, what do you do? We first come in here and 
we start writing the prompt. So how do you write it? This comment is specifically in prompt engineering for separating it. Now let's see, what, what does it say? So <clears throat> let's just start analyzing it. First, descriptive statistics. So it has done the control group. You can see the control group, it goes for the mean. There are differences in between mean, median, and averages. But let's say in here, mean, this much it has got. And there is an approximate standard deviation. The treatment group had a higher mean which is 104.5 and approximate standard deviation that it has done the normality which is shapiro uh, wilk test for both group and then it has done a comparative independent t test and the comparative in independent t test it has compared the both groups control and treated and what it has found that the p value is 1.84 to the power minus 23, which is very low. Statistically, data is really, we consider the p value. If it is less than 0 0.05, then it's significant. So what's the interpretation? 
substantial effect of the treatment. And if you want to look at how it was done in Python script, you just go in here. You can see so it has used the pandas. Pandas is one of the uh, major library for the Python for this analysis. Then you uh, create the data set with all the informations and convert the data set into a data frame, like uh, uh, the this dictionary, which is a dictionary called in here, into a data frame, which is panda.data frame, and do the basic statistics and you have for the data frame in here, and you do the normality test, the Shapiri week uh, test, and then perform the T test control and treatment, and then <clears throat> you do it. There, within the T test, you can go for like uh, the Pair t test and pair t test, everything those can be uh, explained in here. And the interpretation, if you specifically write the details of your experiments, like uh, you uh, want it to be explained, like why independent t test was chosen. Was it weird? As you can see, that's it means that that it was chosen, and uh, data sets are considered as independent of each other. So this is very important part. If you want the control group to be treated, or the same sample was tree, uh, control as after the treatment, it wasn't there. So, and if it doesn't understand it on that way, so what do we need to do? That's we need to specify it. Like, okay, let's write a little bit more in the prompt engineering. So we can go back. And you can say our data set That's it. So this is the importance of prompt engineering that we need to be very specific. If you write it a step by step and we do it very specifically, okay, we want it on this way, then it goes on this way. If not, then it becomes a problem for us. So I see. There's certain issue with the open AI. So that's causing the problem. So you can see, now we have 9.5 into 10 to the minus 15. So they have done the pair T test. So that's the way of doing it. So when we write a prompt in there, we need to be specific and give a certain details, probably limited, and explain it, what it need to be done. And on that way, you get the best out of it. What you require, just write it down. Put your data set and it will be done. And that's how it's mostly is done. You can see the entire thing was done again. 
So take the pandas, import pandas. This could be a, a tutorial on that data analysis from SIP imports the states. So reconstructing the data set. And then what we do? Data control treatment. We made the data set and we did the t-test again. You can see. And we did the pair t-test to this time. So that's how you use you just need to provide the data and ask it give a context uh, that's part of the prompt engineering and it will do it perfectly as you require it could be a very good assistant in terms of writing paper and everything keep using it and i hope this will help you at some extent thank you